Hello, I'm Natalie Glasson from the Sacred School of Omna. And I wanted to share with you the most recent weekly channeled message. This message is from Master Hilarion. It's entitled, Soul's Original Intention, The Fairy Dimension. Channeled through myself, Natalie Glasson, on the 5th of May, 2017. I, Master Larian, wish to share with you a most recent experience from my journeys upon the inner planes of the Creator's universe. I am the Shohan and Overseer of the Fifth Ray of Light, which is an expression of the Creator's qualities represented by an orange light. The fifth ray of light supports soul discovery, enhancement, as well as weaving the divine with science, both on the earth and the inner planes. Along with my passion of guiding souls who come from the earth and the creator's universe to my ashram, I also enjoy traveling the universe of the Creator to discover more about this Creator energy which is at the core of each being, labeled the soul. I discover how the soul can be enhanced and how I can guide others to connect on a deeper level with their soul. I am drawn to areas of the Creator's universe where light technology is created and experienced. I am always interested in how we can integrate light technology into new developments in science, experiments, and intentions upon the earth. I am especially interested when beings draw upon the divine inspiration of the Creator. When contemplating science, as this allows and creates new and unique possibilities for all. All that I discover and connect with, I channel into the fifth ray of light. So others who connect with or visit the fifth ray of light may benefit from the energy and inspiration. The Elemental Dimensions one of my most recent journeys through the universe of the Creator enabled me to discover more about the soul. When I speak of the soul, I'm speaking in general, including your soul, my soul, and every soul in existence. My intuition guided me to the elemental dimensions, which I like to label the magical kingdom, because the elementals exist more than many within the spiritual dimensions as limitless expressions of the Creator. Incredibly unique and diverse are the elementals and those existing within the elemental dimensions that they encourage us to perceive the Creator in a completely new, exciting and diverse manner. It is very exciting to be given such freedom within when entering the elemental dimensions. 
the freedom is always present within. However, the elemental dimensions support you in exploring the Creator with greater depth, freedom and expansion. It can be completely mind-blowing. There is a reason why many have forgotten the elemental dimensions and try to create an illusion of the elementals having a low vibration. Entering and connecting with the elemental dimensions is often too much for many. They cannot cope with seeing the truth of the Creator so vividly, magnified and in such detail. Some beings discover that everything they once believed can be shattered because of the expansive nature of the elemental dimensions and because of lack of understanding and grounding. They can become lost within the elemental dimensions. I, Master Hilarion, have a few pointers that you may wish to retain should you find your soul guiding you to the elemental dimensions. These allowed me to enter and return from the elemental dimensions. When entering the elemental dimensions, there is a need to always first create an intention for your visit. It is important that the intention is specific. Examples I wish to heal my heart chakra. I wish to discover my soul to assist me in my life and spiritual growth now. I wish to gain wisdom to assist me in being of service to nature and the elemental dimensions. Ask for the most appropriate being from the elemental dimensions to step forth, greet and connect with you to be your guide through the elemental dimensions. You may not have previously linked to this being before, however, this being is the most appropriate to work with you. Then say, I now allow my soul to direct me within the elemental dimensions. My pathway is clear and understanding dawns with ease for me. I am grounded. My mind is open to the truth of the Creator. Imagine a green and golden orb of light, like a bubble hovering above you. With your intention, draw the bubble to your third eye chakra. Allow the green and golden light to merge with your third eye chakra. You will then enter the elemental dimensions. The fairy dimension. To continue my story, I, Master Hilarion, entered the elemental dimensions with my intention at the forefront of my mind. My intention is to discover and enhance the soul and its presence for all. It was a fairy who came to greet me. 
the gateway through which I walked, was a creation of weaved branches, filled with green and golden leaves, which appeared as droplets of honey, suspended from the branches. She, the fairy, was there to greet me. I could tell she was of feminine vibration, not because of her appearance, which was pink and green flashes of light, but because of the energy she emanated to me. A warmth and comfort surrounded me as I found myself being led through a magical woodland. The fairy, who invited me to call her Yosha, stopped me every so often and asked me to look at a plant, tree or the view before me. I would see that it was like a picture painted from light, so detailed and creative. Then there was a flash, and it was as if I was seeing behind the picture. I saw the energy constantly moving and vibrating, which was forming the picture. With another few flashes, I saw the being who had created the vision before me, a fairy, their original intention. And then I saw nothing, only the formless light of the Creator. So bright, it was breathtaking. Yosha stopped me many times until the energy and truth of each transition filled my senses. In the distance, I could see a large ball of light suspended in the air. As we moved closer, I saw that the ball was moving, vibrating and constantly changing. The ball was created by millions of fairy beings gathering together as if they were having a meeting that they were very excited about. Yosha guided me to walk straight into the ball of light composed of fairies. I hesitated before doing so, asking my soul for reassurance, and then I moved forth. It was as if I had walked into another dimension. I found myself sitting on grass, surrounded by large rocks of deeply colored rose quartz. Millions of fairy beings flew in the sky above and around me akin to orbs of light. As I caught sight of one, it was as if my third eye extended and moved into embodiment with the fairy. I found myself flying as the fairy, understanding their purpose, gifts and qualities. No sooner as I realized what was happening, I was back in my own being, observing them once more. It was an unusual experience, which brought me joy and great understanding. The type of understanding and knowingness that cannot be expressed with words once it has been grasped. The Wisdom Imparted Yosha appeared before me. By simply acknowledging her, I became her as if my soul was merging with her soul. I heard her words and vibration pulsating through me. 
in the truth of the Creator's universe. There are no boundaries between souls. Souls merge all the time throughout the universe of the Creator. The energy you are now doesn't belong to you. It remains as you recognize it now because of your intention. Is there a core within you which belongs to you alone, describes you and identifies you? The answer to this is both yes and no. Your soul was born from an intention, a vision, thought or expression of energy. That energy merged with other aspects of the Creator, building a truth and wholeness. More qualities, energies, love, light and intentions appeared, forming the soul more fully. Your essence is born from the synthesis of the Creator's light. You are a creation of synthesis. This means that there is an original intention within your soul which has been magnified, empowered, expanded and explored. This original intention, when dissolved and accessed, is akin to a key which allows you to exist in harmony with your soul, fulfilling your needs and evolution. The greatest purpose of a soul is creator synthesis. Each soul has a different synthesis intention to discover, explore and express the creator fully. Accessing your soul's original intention Accessing the original intention of your soul can enable your manifestation and creation abilities to be magnified and empowered. We, the fairies, wish to share with you, Hilarion, a prayer of truth, which we invite you to share with others. I invite my soul, soul group, guides and the Creator to hear me now. I wish to discover my soul's original intention, the intention that acted as a seed for the energy that I am now, as my truth and highest essence. Please filter with clarity into my mind awareness and heart, my soul's original intention. I know that this intention will be simple and may not even seem that profound, as everything that is the Creator is always simple. I'm willing to accept the simplicity of my soul's original intention. I invite myself to become aware of my soul's original intention in the coming week. Thank you. Take a moment to rest and receive. Continue to take moments to rest and receive throughout your week. Hilarion Remind souls that when they access their original intention, whether they are conscious of it or not, it can bring great realization. 
about life, the spiritual journey and purpose. Then when they manifest, projecting their energy from their soul into their reality, they will have the power of their soul's original intention, which will advance their manifestation skills and encourage them to experience fulfillment. Yosha continued for some time, and I, Hilarion, simply sat enjoying the energies, light and activations which were taking place within my entire being. With gratitude and love, Master Hilarion. <laughs>